vlog channel. My name is TV, like a television. And right now I am on my way to work. Today I have a chauffeur. My boyfriend is driving me because if you know anything about me, I do not like driving, so I will avoid it at all costs. And I'm not really that great of a driver either, so it's kind of better if somebody is driving me. Anyways, my boyfriend got me a green tea latte from Starbucks, which is my favorite drink from there. And I will catch up with you guys after. All right, just got out of work. It was a pretty decent day at work, pretty busy, but I did get a decent amount of things done. Now my boyfriend is here to pick me up and we're heading to one of my favorite taco places in Orlando and the place is called Tin and Taco. So we're gonna get some tacos for dinner and take you guys along with me. Alright, all masked up and we are at Tin and Taco. Let's go, folks. Actually, I wonder if we could just eat in here since we're the only one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're the only ones that just eat here. Alright, there is nobody in this restaurant right now. So we're probably just going to eat here. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. If there's one thing about Florida is that every time you're in a store or a building, they always turn the AC to max. <laughs> so it's always freezing. Here. Are you want to eat here? Yeah, we'll eat here. here. So I'm so cold right now. Can I have the chick magnet with um, the little potato chips on it? The potato front. Yeah, the sticks. Thank you. And just one. Thank you very much. So here is my taco. I got the chick magnet with some potato chips on it. And I don't know what my boyfriend got over there, but he got three tacos and I only got one because I'm not really that hungry. I had a late lunch today. What I love about Tin and Taco is that if you look at the taco shell right here, they put cheese on it, which makes the taco shell very crunchy. But it's not a hard shell. It's just a soft, crunchy shell. That's what's unique about the tacos here. So good. It's one of my favorite tacos. Time to dig in. giving me weird looks right now because I'm recording myself eating. There you go. <laughs> Have you no vlog before? I thought this was supposed to be normal nowadays. Just finished our food. That was so satisfying. And now we are heading to the... Oh, we're already here. Well, we are now at the Toyota See? dealership. And the funny thing about that is I know this morning I said that I hate driving, but I'm actually looking to buy a new car. Right now I am at the Toyota dealership because I am 
undecided on whether I want the Mini Cooper or the Toyota CHR. So I'm gonna test drive the CHR, see how I feel. And I don't know, I don't really know which one I'm leaning more towards at the moment. So it's Ooh, really- Ooh, look at all those Supras! Woo! So it's really <coughs> just going to be up to these car dealers to see who can buy convince me to convince you buy, a Supra. buy a car and make a decision. Don't tell them too much. I ain't saying anything. Here we are at the Toyota Orlando dealership. I like this color. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta go look at a car. This is a huge dealership. Yeah, this dealership is gigantic. We got a lot of cars here. It's nice, huh? Which means I have a big selection. Oh my god, they got like a cafe. <laughs> I know. What kind of dealership is this? I kind of like the white one, but my parents don't want me getting a white car because they all have a white car, so we don't need another white car in the family. But I'm also leaning towards this graphite dark kind of graphite color. This dark gray color. I don't know. Let's see. Here's the car I'm test driving. I love really, the blue lining. Really Check out the blue lining on the interior. So nice. Time to test drive these Toyota CHR. I like the, um, the diamond stitching seats. This is really cool. I like it too. The diamond stitching? Yeah. All right, give it a try. See what you think. You can get comfortable. Okay, there we go. Drive. Right, ready to go. How does it feel already? I like it. Is it comfy? Yeah, it is. Smooth, right? I actually really like it. What are the size wheels? 17? I would say 17, right? Yeah, 17. Feels a lot better than the Scion, huh? Oh yeah, for sure. Because you kind of get the SUV feel, but like not really. It doesn't feel too big for me, you know? Because usually in a big car, it, it feels too big for me. And this is like the perfect size. Yeah? Let's go inside and try to figure out some options and take a, take a peek through all of it. Yeah, you want to see what this is? I wanna, I'm just curious here. for myself. Oh. Here's a key though, by the way, so we yeah, don't just leave that in here. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> that was the worst car dealership experience that I've ever experienced. <laughs> and it wasn't the car salesman that originally helped us because he was great he was honest he was pretty genuine and so down to earth yeah he was super down to earth so shout out to mike at that toyota orlando dealership he was awesome he, the man went out of his way for us yeah like, he, he gave us did. everything we asked for yeah he was super helpful but then when we dealt with the mr quote unquote finance manager yeah, when we got to the mm -hmm. finance part to break down the prices because I was just about ready to buy a car. I absolutely love the Toyota CHR. We could have just taken delivery on a vehicle tonight had it not been for that angle. <laughs> yeah, so when we dealt with the quote unquote finance person, I don't even know if he knew his finances, but- He told he, us to do the math. Yeah, he, he told, told me to do the math. Like, we were figuring out we wanted to do payments, pay the car in full, and he was basically making my boyfriend do the math. Like, what kind of finance person does that? In I general. just feel like customer service in general, if you go out of your way and give people the best service and just genuinely try to help people, that goes a long way. And this guy was just so arrogant, so rude, and I never even really call people out. I never even leave a negative review on anything, but 
I think that experience just made me so mad that I, I'm actually considering putting a bad Google review because it was just so awful. I've never met somebody that was so rude to me when I was trying to buy something, you know? I was genuinely ready to well, buy a car. Point, what's the point of being a finance manager when you're telling the customer to do everything? Like, I did my own homework, I did my own math. They wouldn't even do it for us. Like, everything honestly was going well up to that point. I, I'm in disbelief right now that that even happened. I don't know if I want to go back to that dealership because of that guy. But I do, if I decide to get the Toyota CHR, I do want to go back to our original salesperson, Mike, because he was awesome and I would definitely like to go through him to be able to purchase the car, but with that experience, I, I don't even know. So we're just gonna go home now and I'm gonna do more research, figure out, you know, price shop, and figure out what I want because now I, I don't even know what I want. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it didn't end on the best note. And I hope to see you guys in my next one.